Bye goodbye was not forever. This is Kirk. That's Justin. That and this was is not Mama or Benzie. Nor was that the goodbye you were looking for. Thanks for letting me get my intro piece in you. Yeah, well. That's two cuss words in the beginning. I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> So many dolphin noises. <laughs> Listen to them. They're like, this episode is brought to you by SeaWorld. Uh, yeah, they're <laughs> <laughs> no, we should have just said a bunch of cuss words right after that. Just a bunch of cast a dolphin. So, uh, <laughs> just, viewers, cut it all out. We, we, before we started this episode, we were talking about how my room can sometimes be, or not my room, my house can sometimes be creepy. Um, and before my grandma passed away in this past year, um, which, which was a very, very bad event, uh, event in my life, like the worst event. Oh, um, but he has to move the rats. Yeah. Um, but anyways, um, before she passed away, she used to have a ton of porcelain dolls. Oh, really? Yeah. And they would just be in random fucking places in the house. Oh, yeah. That's terrifying right there. Yeah. And so it just... You would walk by sometimes, and you would just notice a porcelain hmm. doll. And you know how porcelain dolls are, like, their eyes follow you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Due to the way they're made? Yeah, no, I I never felt well. Yeah, I could understand that, honestly. You know? <laughs> you, could never, you could never feel good about porcelain, porcelain dolls staring at you. No, you cannot. There is no, no way. They, they absolutely terrify me. They always have <laughs> since I was a little child, and it just never got better. Okay, um, um, it doesn't help that I've seen like a shit ton of movies with porcelain dolls that like, <laughs> you know. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, Chucky, the uh, Annabelle, Annabelle, yeah, yeah, Annabelle. Oh, oh there wait, there's go. a thing. Okay. I found a thing, everybody. Uh, Ha-ha. Anyway, what? Annabelle was definitely one of the more creepy ones. But also, have you ever left my house in the dark and felt like something was following you? Every single time. Uh, Actually, not that often. But it does happen, right? Once in a while. Uh, Yeah. Right? Ah, God damn it. This is so (laughs) hag. No, yeah, every time. And it's always... It's not until... It's not just leaving the house it's almost every time your grandpa's sitting in that chair out there but it's once I actually get outside and I'm walking down that stretch with those bushes <laughs> yeah it's right there and even when I for, I, like I get, as soon as I get yeah. my car I lock my door so I feel like someone's running after me yeah no I have felt like that since I was a child wow yeah I can understand that honestly like where am I going <laughs> but in this room for some reason I have always felt safe yeah. Uh, even when you were a kid? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. And this room used to not be a room, really. It used to be this a storage okay. area for my family. This? And but this it, room always felt safe, no matter what. Yeah, yeah. I would come in here a lot and just, like, sit down in a corner. And just be like, they can't get Benzie, me. Benzie, that other light, Nothing too. can get me yeah. here. <laughs> I don't know. It's always been weird. No, that makes sense. And I'm, and I'm not one to believe in spiritual things or anything like that. Oh, you know what? You know, I just always felt safe in this room. Uh, it might be due to the fact that this was my father's room when he was uh, in high school and such. Yeah. You know, yeah. it has a lot of stuff from him. Uh, oh. Actually, if you look inside my closet, you can still see a bunch of cool stuff from when he was in high school. Really? Nice. Yeah. I, I'll show you guys once the video's done. Okay. You can actually take a picture and put it on there. Yeah. Right. Really cool. Hey, uh, future me, if that is true, uh, throw it up. <laughs> I don't know if it is or not because I can't see it at the moment. Do you think uh, am I good to go? Like, yeah. uh, try it. All right, let's do it. Oh, oh my god, oh, oh, oh. they were definitely nipping at my ankles right there. All right, all right, mummy, let's do this, baby. Do I get to play as her now? Because I don't want to. I love being the troll. <laughs> you, you are the troll for a little longer. Nice. Uh, you no, know, that makes sense though, because I mean, your house just has kind of that feel to it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it probably doesn't help that my haunted. grandpa. Uh, well, this house was owned by one family before my grandparents, 
and they were the ones to sell it to my grandpa so nothing weird happened here you know mm -hmm. I know that later in life but my grandpa used to tell me stories when I was a when I was a kid like 10 or so yeah. uh, and he'd be like uh, no so this place used to uh, get babies no uh, they, they used to have like a babysitter this used to be like a what is that called uh, uh, when they have children you know. a birth center no not birth center like a living like a living babysitter no a daycare daycare that's daycare. what I'm looking for sorry mm -hmm. it, some words escape me when I need them escape mm -hmm. escape me yeah escape <laughs> uh but anyways my grandpa used to tell me that they used to have a uh a daycare center here and uh they used to keep alligators where the pool currently is <laughs> oh sweet i can control rats yeah, i'm sure this will become and handy to bad long. kids to the it, to the alligators so <laughs> yeah. weird <laughs> so you better be good no, don't I watch that cartoon porn oh boy uh <laughs> <laughs> no it's just really funny stories and such I would move them. Benzie. You know, as an adult, I, I don't believe it at all, but... Yeah, there you go. Ow! Wait, you, you, there you go. Yeah, this house was only like two years old when they bought it. Nice. How long have, has Grandpa lived here, specifically? Uh, they moved here in 84. Oh, wow. So... Did Grandma pass here at the hospital? At the hospital. Okay. You know... Uh, but... You know, I I would <laughs> never feel like my grandmother. Oh, they won't go into the light. Gotcha. I just need to be. In the I, light I would so never feel like my me. grandma would haunt us or anything like that. Right. If anything, she would protect us. That's not if, what I was that's thinking. That's real. Yeah. I I personally don't believe in any of that, but you know, um, my grandmother was honestly the most amazing human being. <laughs> Yeah. No, this place, if it, if it's haunted, it was definitely haunted long before it, uh, your grandma came around. <laughs> yeah. No, it's... It, no, you if, you, if, if a viewer were to ever visit my house, you definitely get some strange vibes when leaving the place. Also, when entering. This happens to me almost every time at night. Uh, there is a lamppost turning into my neighborhood. Or a light post. And, uh... Guaranteed, every time I go underneath it, it goes out. Yep. Now it's probably just faulty wiring. However, Wait, you've seen it, like you've. Yeah, I've experienced it. Um, however, with me in the car, I have. I definitely think that it is uh, that Kirk is personally haunted. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> it's uh, it's the one like right on Cloverdale in Oregon, the Cloverdale in Oregon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My, well, and my thing is, is it's like, because I've never seen it go out. Is it usually when you're the one driving, Kurt? Generally. Because uh, there have been times when I've had you in the car and it doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it happened when I was driving, for sure. Uh, um, and it, it didn't turn back on after I had left this house. Mm. Yeah, no, so that's faulty wiring. But no, it, there, there's just definitely some weird happenstance in this house. Not gonna lie to you, <laughs> or not in this house, but in this, well, in no. this area. Yeah, and well, it's like, definitely older though. Right. Like this area is, but at the same time as well, like when you Ooh. when you leave here, like by the time I'm in my car with my doors locked, like I feel fine. I don't feel that weird anymore. So it's almost like as soon as I've left like the premise of your house, I'm fine. Yeah, and so it could maybe there's like a native burial ground that this is built on or something. Doubtful. Nothing <laughs> weird happens. No. Like, uh, there would be a lot weirder of shit off. happening if that yeah, was the case. Yeah, like, all you get is a small feeling. You know? Uh, have you ever seen the bell curve of uh, feeling stupid versus <laughs> um, versus how fast you run into your own house? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. It's... You, you definitely feel stupid just hauling ass into your own house. <laughs> because but, you think there's, like, a monster behind you or yeah, something. Yeah, but at the same time, f fight or flight. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. And it, I'm definitely flying. <laughs> I'm definitely flying as well, yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm hauling ass is what I mean. <laughs> Kirk is, uh... 
Kirk has a few stories of him just like fucking off when people need him. Oh no, I'm dead. Yeah, no, this is I'm, this is one of the harder parts of this is because like you can bring those rats too close to you as well. Yeah, and, it, and that's actually like really bad. Wait, they can actually like if I brought them too close to me. Yeah, yeah, try me? it. Try yeah. it. All right, let's just uh, let's just kill myself real quick. That's a great place to end the episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good place to end. We can continue you uh, fucking off on people when they need you in the next episode. All right. This goodbye is not for. Ever. Nor is it the goodbye you were looking for. This is Kirk, that's Justin, and I'm Justin. this is Benzie. Bye, Mom. Signing off. Bye-bye. Say bye again, what Mom. What were we doing again? <laughs> they finally got their shit together, though, so that's pretty nice.